Hi there, my name is JC McLeod and today we're going to talk about chalking your wheels of your RV. Now, why do you want to chalk your wheels? Well, when your vehicle is parked on a downhill or forward hill slant, you need something to stop it from rolling ahead. Not to mention that there are now chalks out there that take a lot of your front to back movement out and make it a lot more stable when you're trying to stay inside. So today we're going to show you a traditional chalk and the new X chalk. Now leveling your RV is very important just due to the fact that certain appliances will not operate properly if you are out of level. So getting your RV as close to level when you first set up is very crucial. Not to mention you don't exactly want to be rolling off the bed in the middle of the night. So some of the things we require are a couple different methods of leveling that we're going to actually walk you through. But having a short level or having levels built in on the side of the RV really make leveling that much simpler when you're trying to set up in a hurry. Today we're going to show you two different ways with two separate products that we use to level out RVs. The first one we're going to talk about is the Anderson. Now this is called a Anderson leveler and how they work we're going to show you in one second. But on a tandem axle trailer you do require two. So we're going to start by taking our wedge shape and putting it just ahead of the tire. We're going to take our second one, put it just ahead of the tire. Now some people have a concern about, oh my tires are too close together. These are designed to fit. Um, it has been very rare that I've ever had a chance to have somebody say that they could not use this product. Once we have our Anderson levelers in place in front of the tires, we're going to check our level on the side of the trailer. In this circumstance we know that we need to move the top of the trailer the, to the far direction from where I am. So we're going to keep an eye on the level and we're going to get our driver to pull ahead. Perfect! Right there. Now once they are up on the level and you're roughly where you want to be, we're going to take our secondary wheel chocks and set them against the Anderson on the back. Once those chocks are in, the trailer isn't going to roll anywhere and you are perfectly level. Second product that we're going to talk about for leveling today are actually our Traveler's Choice leveling blocks. Now I always think of these as Lego blocks for big boys. And how they work is we're going to take our Lego blocks, but we are going to stack them to drive up on. Now there is a little bit of estimating involved in this. We need to figure out that, hey, I'm about two inches out of level. And easy enough, that equals two inches out of level. So we're going to build a pyramid in front of each tire. You lay your blocks down, usually a base of two, and then we put our pyramid together in front of each wheel. So in this situation, I know I roughly need two inches of leveling. We lay our leveling blocks down and then we get ready to pull ahead onto the leveling blocks. Now once we have our pyramids built in front of each wheel, we're going to check for level and we're going to get our driver to pull ahead. There! We're going to double check our measurement and bang on once again using our Traveler's Choice leveling blocks. One of the newer innovations in chalking in the RV industry is the X chalk. Now, some of the reasons why I like this product are the fact that when we are up on top of our leveling blocks, it's really hard to chalk. This product can be used in this situation. Not to mention, this also helps with the forward to back rolling movement that you feel in your trailer when people walk around. A lot more so than chalks. Because how this works, we're going to take this in between our tires and we are going to ratchet it tight in between our two tires. Now how this benefits us is if the two tires are pressing against one another, they can't roll forward and back. So you get it centered on your tires and you just ratchet it out. 
Don't be afraid of going too tight with these. Your tires can handle the weight. And by tying them together like that, it takes a lot of your front to back movement out.